I'm gonna explain something that it may it may sound a little strange. It used to be something that just was always known, but because of today's I don't know. I don't know what you wanna call it. Today's exaggerations, you know, everybody think they can have it all type thing. And you're not limited by anything, right? So I'm gonna give you an example. In college football, there are seventy three thousand seven hundred and twelve participants. This is a 2015 stat, so that's an average. This is a 2018 stat. In college basketball, there are about 18,816 participants. Okay, so you got about 73,000 football, 18,000 basketball. Now, of those basketball players, overall from percentage of high school to NCAA, that's 3.5%. 1% Division 1, 1% Division 2, 1.4 Division 3. Eligible for draft is about 4000 a year. And in the ones that make it to the pro, it's about 1.2%. 1.2% of college eligible basketball players, they actually even make it into the professional ranks. Now, in the NFL... Broken down, there's about 1,600, 1,696 football players, 32 teams, 53-man rosters, 1,696. Your high school had more people than that. And in the NBA, there are approximately 450 players, 15 players, 30 teams, 450, 1,600. You add it up, that may, that may, that may be a little bit over 2,000, right? My point is this. In dating and wanting jobs, like cer certain things just was, just was always known. That the higher your standards, you're going to limit your options. Meaning if you just want, you come out of high school and you just want to go to Ivy League schools, I mean, the, they take only the, the top, top, top tier. When you try to get into the corporations that are for, for Fortune 500 companies, they take the top, top tier. In your dating, some people have such the highest, highest standards, but they think there's a lot of whatever they want. And the higher your standards, you're going to limit those options. You're picking from a very, very small gene pool. Understand?